If you're having a hard time telling the difference between both of these devices, we could not agree more. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, reporting from MWC 2016 in Barcelona with a quick show floor comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, brought to you by dbrand. If you just spent top dollar buying the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus this past holiday season, we don't blame you for being upset. Samsung's announcement of the Galaxy S7 Edge that looks almost identical to last year's phablet just leads to a lot of confusion, even though there are some significant differences. For starters, the company did make a smart move in making the Edge variant a tad larger than the regular Galaxy S7, since the curved design feels smaller and lighter in the hand. Regardless of which device you're holding, it's hard to deny that both devices are gorgeous at a distance and feel very premium in the hand. If you're the type that likes to grab attention in the public with your device, either of these is rather the way to go. Aesthetically, both devices are nearly identical. Really, if it wasn't because the Galaxy S7 Edge has a slightly smaller display, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. From the metallic trim, to the glass front and back, to even the placement of the buttons, these devices are pretty much almost the same thing, save for the few microscopic differences that you really have to nitpick to find. There's this interesting curve where the glass meets the aluminum on the new unit that you didn't really see on last year's model. And if you didn't like how the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus stood out from the crowd when it came to the camera hump department, all that got fixed with this new variant. Now, to be fair, the differences between them is rather significant when you look internally. The new Galaxy S7 is IP68 water and dust resistant compared to none of these in the larger cousin. There's also no 64 gig option in the newer Galaxy S7, but the newer model marks the return of expandable storage via an extended SIM tray, which doesn't exist in last year's unit. You'd say both devices share the same gorgeous display, but this newer model provides users with an always-on mode as well, something you didn't see in the past. In addition to that, the new Exynos 8890 or Snapdragon 820 processors also include a liquid cooling system and are able to perform 30% faster along with 60% in boost of performance in the GPU, though both of these units have the same amount of RAM. And even if it's harder to believe, this new Galaxy S7 sports a larger 3600 mAh battery compared to the 3000 mAh battery of last year's phablet. Now, even though we praise the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus for its camera, Samsung claims that this newer model has a better one. It starts with a brighter f1.7 aperture lens compared to last year's f1.9, and uh, even though there are more megapixels in last year's sensor, this newer model sports a 12 megapixel camera in which each megapixel is actually larger than the previous unit, allowing for more light, and also for faster focusing, though again, these are things that we would have to test in the real world. Other enhancements come in the form of the software and what it allows them to do. The newer Galaxy S7 runs TouchWiz on top of Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and while differences are not really aesthetic, they are in functionality. With the old Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, what you could do with the Edge was really limited to two panes with uh, just contacts and an app launcher. With the new Galaxy S7 Edge, the new Edge returns to some of the old elements of the Galaxy Note Edge from two years ago, with third-party Edge features, enhancements for contactless, quick actions, and much more. It's designed to augment your experience with the phone, and it does so rather well, even if you could say that the software on this show floor unit is still not final. Overall, even though the Galaxy S7 Edge is a far superior device in specs and paper, it's not like if the old Galaxy S6 Edge Plus wasn't still a great phone already. It would be hard to call any of these a winner, but our full review and comparisons coming in the next few weeks will tell us a lot more. Pocket Now's MWC 2016 coverage is made possible by dbrand, manufacturer of precision-cut vinyl skins for smartphones, tablets, laptops, gaming consoles, and more. If you're looking to customize the appearance of your device and add a bit of protection and grip, check out dbrand.com MWC or visit the link in the description below.
We've got more coverage coming, folks, so make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. And you can now also catch these videos on Vessel at Vessel.com slash Pocket Now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We've got more coverage coming soon.